Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today I was craving some pizza, and I got Chris here from Pizzeria Locale. Hey, Larry. Locale. Locale. But it's okay. Either way. It's, I we'll know take it's a butcher. Pizzeria Locale. That's what everybody calls it. Yep. Locale. Give us a little history of yourself first. Sure. I've uh, been in restaurants all my life. Uh, moved to Colorado about 16 years ago, started working in hotels up in Boulder, um, and then moved over to Frasca Food and Wine. I was a restaurant. Frasca. Thank you. Um, owned by Bobby Stuckey and Lachlan Patterson. Worked on the server wine team there for a bit. And then they wanted to open up a Neapolitan style traditional pizzeria. So we did that right next door to Frasca. And, and what year would that have been? That's 10 years ago. Okay. Um, so it's going to be two. 2011, January 25th, 2011. Pizzeria Locale, the original opened, full service, sit down, kind of like fine dining pizza. And after three years of that, we ventured into quick serve. So we took that original concept and started to make pizza that was really great ingredients, still super high quality, but done in a different format, so it was a lot more affordable for people. Where was the first one of those? Uh, Sixth and Broadway. Okay, and that's yeah. still there, right? That's still there, yeah, it's about seven years old or so. And then and now, since Lowell. then, you've added three more locations? Yep, three more. We have one at 32nd and Lowell in the Highlands, uh, one over in the Central Park neighborhood, and then 9th in Colorado is the fourth one. And that just opened in August. Yeah, Very nice. So four now. And, and for people at home who don't know, what do you do there? What's, uh, sure. what's, what is Pizzeria Locale? So we pride ourselves on doing the Neapolitan basics. We don't want to say perfectly, but as well as we can every day. Excellent. Uh, so that means four ingredient crust. So our crust is made with just flour, water, yeast, and salt. It's fermented overnight, which like fast food pizza that's out there, that's not very common. Sure. People just make dough using hot water and sugar. It proofs. It's, it's, not, it's not fully proof. For people at home, what is Neapolitan style pizza? Sure. So we, we have the kind of the four tenets of what we keep as Neapolitan, which is going to be that four ingredient crust fermented overnight, stretched by hand, uncooked sauce, and a really hot oven. There are more than that if you want okay. to be like certified Neapolitan. And you're not certified. We don't do that. We kind of have these core tenants that we stick to. And kind of the fun of that is that lets us kind of make pizzas with other ingredients that people want. Okay. Like Neapolitan pizza, you're not seeing pineapple, the most <laughs> d divisive topping of all time. I am against yeah, it. Fair. I, hey. I'm against it. Eat what I, you, eat what I'm you sorry. like. I'm sorry. No pineapple on pizza. Yeah, there is no right, no wrong. Eat the food you love. No, that's wrong. Um, <laughs> so we wouldn't offer that. We wouldn't offer bacon, which most people want. We wouldn't offer a whole host of different sure. ingredients. So it allows us to kind of do what we want, but have the Neapolitan-like. But Neapolitan-style crust is definitely, I think, what people yes. think of is, is you want the bubbles and the char. Like in that's some right. restaurants, people yeah. who don't know would say, uh, my pizza's burnt. No. No, it's that's perfectly. how it's supposed to be. And that's what we pride ourselves on, is those having those core basics of Neapolitan. Yeah. Um, and what's nice is, like you pointed out, those little kind of crisp bits there. The whole idea is that the sauce is uncooked in Neapolitan tradition. So the sauce is sweet and tangy. And when you have a bite of that, that pizza, that little bit of char and that little bit of sweetness, it's like, it's just perfect. And that's, that's kind of what it's all about. What's funny is I've been eating this pizza forever, and uh, I've never heard it explained that way. Yeah. And it makes total sense. Well, it's totally, a little bitter. Nice, yeah, nice it totally thing. works. What else do you guys do there besides pizza? Uh, we do salads as well. We just have a few side salads, um, which is going to be the Antica salad, very simple. We did bring uh, the pizzeria salad here, more kind of light, light lunchtime salad, multiple vegetables on there, and then pepperoni over the top. Uh, we have beer and wine on tap, uh, okay. which is really great. Keeping we, local beers? or oh, Only local. Okay. Uh, local and independent. So nice. if you're owned by one of the big, big companies, we're not going to carry you. It has to be local independent beer. Okay. Uh, the wine is our own. Uh, we source it from Italy. Um, just a simple kind of field blend white wine and a simple field blend red wine. Light, crisp, refreshing, great with pizza. So those are all on tap. Happy hour uh, every day of the week is from four to six, buy one, get one free. Wow, uh, I so didn't know that. We do that all the time, yeah, every day. Seven days a week, buy one, get one free. Seven days a week, four to six. That's a heck of a deal. Yeah, local independent beer for $2.50. Wow. Oh, so. I was thinking it was buy one, get one free pizzas. Oh, no, no. Just, <laughs> just the food. Just the food. Just, just the food. God bless it. Yep. And your oven is also really special. It is. Um, super proud of it. I don't know if I've seen another one like that. Is it? And that's true because it doesn't exist. Oh, well, yeah. look at that. I am observing. Yeah, for those who don't think I pay attention. Yeah, you nailed it. Uh, very good. It, it is our <laughs> oven. Um, so when we kind of went off in this quick serve direction, we quickly realized traditional Neapolitan pizza oven is amazing, but it's, you know, four pizzas at a time. 
And if you were going to do the volume that we were building this business around, you couldn't do it on one Neapolitan. Even building. though your pizzas only take, what, a minute? Uh, uh, the 90 seconds. 90 minutes. seconds is what we started with. We've upped it a little bit to about three minutes. Really? So it's just a touch slower now. But what we found is people like a pizza or our pizza just a little bit more crisp, a little less wet. Okay. Which again veers a little bit away from Neapolitan, which is a little bit more wet. But we find that people love it more, so that's what we do. So back to the oven. Uh, it rotates, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we brought um, some engineers out to the original location. They studied not so much the oven itself, but how it cooked the pizza. How did the heat work in the oven? Okay. And then they helped us build a one-of-a-kind rotating hearth oven that cooks the pizza as you would in a wood-fire Neapolitan oven, but in a rotating oven that fits 10 pizzas. But, but you're not using wood? We're not using wood, we're using gas. Okay. So you still get the char, and yeah. that's what we actually, through taste testing wood and gas, we found out that's what it's all about. If you get the char with wood, great. You get the char with gas, great. Um, and that's, that's how we came up with the oven. So there's really the four that we have in our restaurants. And that's it. Yeah. I know it's not in my business, but I'm really curious. Yeah. What does an oven like that cost? Um, I'll just say it's, it's not as expensive as you would think. I'm thinking 50000 uh, Less than that. Okay. Yeah. I'll See, yeah I'll meet, you're right. I'll meet you there. <laughs> you're right. It's not as expensive as I thought. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about what you brought me for lunch today. Excellent. Um, so we do, like I said, we do the classics. We, you know, we are a, we call ourselves Neighborhood Neapolitan Pizzeria. Um, so we have the margarita pizza here. Everyone knows it. Sauce, mozzarella, basil over the top. It's classic for a reason. It's delicious. Our best-selling pizza is going to be the Diavola. It's kind of like a spicy pepperoni. So smoked mozzarella, pepperoni again, um, basil, and that mozzarella cheese. And Diavolo yeah. means? Um, devil. Yeah. yeah. So it's spicy. Yeah, nice and spicy. So that, that's our best-selling. This is a special pizza. Um, so a couple times a year, we partner with a local chef and they work with Jordan Wallace, who's our chef, and together they come up with a chef collab pizza that we run for the month. So this pizza was made with Chef Jordan and then um, Caroline Glover from Annette Scratch to Table. So this is her design, and it's a white pizza, which is part of our menu, it means no sauce. And there's gonna be mozzarella on there, uh, a little bit of Calabrian chili oil, and then Fontina cheese, which is a richer, kind of a little stinky cheese, delicious. And then pancetta, uh, oven roasted mushrooms, and arugula. Um, I love arugula on a pizza. A lot of people wouldn't think it works, but it's. We have another pizza, the prosciutto and arugula pizza, and people people love that. Put it on my pasta too, like on a, on a gnocchi alla vodka, put a little yeah. arugula on top of it. It's a little, little bite, like kind of cuts fat. That's what I find. So cheese or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then one thing I do want to mention about that pizza: one dollar from every one of those pizzas is donated to Project Worth More. I don't know if you've heard of them. I have not. Tell us what that is. So Project Worthmore is here in Denver, and they help refugees get settled uh, when they Fantastic. come to the state. So whatever that means, that, that's finding work, if that's finding services they need, but it helps refugees settle and find a home here in Colorado. So $1 for every pizza, um, chef pizza sold, goes to them. All through November. You know, there's that uh, restaurant downtown that uh, employs refugees. I don't know about um, What is it? Do you remember the name? Uh, I was hoping you'd remember. <laughs> uh, it'll come you can in tell a me second. Afterwards. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. it is great. It's only yeah. open like short hours and it trains them how to make the how to, you know, cook yeah. so that they could eventually open up their own places. And the food is, you know, like one day would be like Ethiopian, that's who's cooking. Oh, cool. The next day would be, you know, different uh, from a different country. Yeah. And it's very inexpensive, very lowbrow. Um, it's down in Rhino. Cool. The girl who promotes it is going to kill me for forgetting it. Well, I will, uh, che I will check it out. It sounds awesome. It'll come to me right yeah. after. Uh, and then a little dessert you brought? So this is, um, I'd say that I guess the second most popular thing in the restaurant. People freak out for these. These are Budino butterscotch pudding. Uh -huh. uh, they've been on our menu since day one. They used to be bigger. Now we make them in this kind of personal size. So we make the butterscotch pudding from scratch. We melt down chocolate. And then we hand whip whipped cream and put that over the top. And they're, I think, a buck eighty. Uh, people love them. That's like the perfect dessert for me. Yeah, they're great. A couple bites is all you need. All right, what else do we need to talk about? Let's talk about ordering. Because we, okay. like most restaurants, we have leaned hard into online ordering okay. and digital. Um, things being with the way they are right now. So you have two ways to order Pizzeria Locale. You can download the app, which is awesome. We have a rewards program that we just launched. Okay. So you get a free pizza, you get a free budino on your birthday. And there's ongoing rewards. Or you can order through our website as well. And what's the website? www.pizzeriolocale.com. Yeah, so two ways to order. You can sign up for rewards either way. Do you do uh, any of the third-party apps? 
Uh, we do, but we just promote our own website. <laughs> we don't want to talk about it because they rip us off. That's right. So, yeah, we, we do work with them, but go to our website, please. It saves them a lot of money. Get off your couch. Go get it yourself. Download the app. Stay on your couch. All right. Download the app. But then you can't get it delivered. Uh, you can. You can. Okay. It just cycles app. through our app. Yeah. All right. Which good. is better for us. So All right. We appreciate it. Chris, pleasure to meet you. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of What's for Lunch. Let's eat. So good.